Um, here, real quick, I know you guys can read. This has been good to us. We also read garbage, <coughs> but hey, our, it, it, when, we're not, when, we're, when we're not three, four, our salmon, our will, our tackle to guard. Tackle takes precedent. Because you think about it, right? Normally we're lined up on, our ends are lined up on the, on the tackle. That's going to trigger our end. And we've got a gap exchange. Pull across, <coughs> those different types of things. Yeah, we've got to figure out if those are true pulls. I mean, you play teams like uh, uh, really good wind T teams. Uh, you know, we played in the Skeagle for a lot of years. They're going to false pull you both ways or run trap at you. Right? So if you're running out of there, then you've got to make kind of, I guess, game plan decisions on how you want to do it. But we are still a tackle read team. It fits what our ends are doing to our gap exchange. We can argue this, we won't, or we can do it later. Uh, the offensive linemen don't do as much. I just don't, you know, they, they do a lot. I was an offensive lineman, I can say. I was an offensive tackle. So I just didn't do as much as the guys. I think it's a cleaner read in, in our staff. Okay, when we're in a two linebacker set, we don't change the rule. That's a cruddy thing to do to kids. Okay? Say, hey, Brooks, you got to read the tackle. Who are you reading? I'm reading the tackle coach. Wait, we just brought three, four personnel in. Now I'm reading the triangle. We obviously are reading through to the, here I got the next slide, I'll show you what, what, what it really looks like. Now, hey, I'm not here to change your mind on stuff, but I know it's worked for us. I know we can show it to you. That's what the look looks like if we're in our three, four, right? So now, our, our Sam's look is, you know, he's looking there through to the backfield, okay? Our Will's tackle first through the backfield. If we had more time, we would get into some of these yes and no calls. Because as you guys know, and again, a lot of good offensive coaches in this room, you're going to start walking out our outside linebackers, all right? Which then is going to take away some of the cutback stuff that our outside backer can take away. So just real quick, and we can talk more about this later if you'd like, the outside backer always makes a yes or no call from the inside backer say, hey, yes, 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 meaning I'm right here, man. That means that you can get over the top, and I'll shuffle in and be your cutback guy. Or he says, no, 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 because i got to walk out over number two. Now he's got to stay in shuffle a little bit more. Okay, and again, that's not, we can talk more about that later. But that's just, you, talk, you think about your run fits, it looks nice here, but now, you know, I had that conversation with a, uh, 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 Fritz, uh, uh, who's at Arrowhead and Homestead, he said this, and I never forget he said this. You know, and, and not knocking offensive coaches, I'm an offensive coach too, but offensive coaches get all worked up if the guy moves from a two to a two eye and, 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 and we all freak out. Well, shit. Defense got trips on the emotional over with an H bag, and now they're, then they all of a sudden they go empty. The hell is that? You know? But you gotta kind of draw that stuff up. And you've got to communicate where you are because now I'm displaced, right? All right, so real quick, I know you guys can look at this. Here, he, here's what we really mean. So like here, are, here are our run fits. So we'll, we'll do this. Here's how we do this drill. Normally it's half line. It's not always half line. Very rarely is this a drill that, 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 that it's full goal. Normally our guys are holding shields. Okay, Tuesdays a day we'll get rid of the shields. Every day else we're usually in shields. Which, if you would have told me I would have said that five years ago, I would have said, my God, that I become soft. Maybe, but also maybe a little smarter with it, too. But like, here's a good <laughs> example. So if we get like ISO week, right? Bob, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Base block, okay? I didn't draw this real great. But if he gets a turnout block, he's going to fight that, close the door. The nose should get down. And maybe it's power. Maybe they're wrapping to here. He's got to spill this thing for the overlap mic. There's the dog if he's there, right? If the dog starts to get walked out, all right, we're not going to change all of our run fits. That's on us to maybe work some cover stuff in our auto checks, right? Or back the dog up so we can fit in if it is run. Okay, we get the RPO stuff too. Um, we do some uh, uh, combo stuff, some banjo stuff. Um, and frankly, if we can play man, we'll play it. That does take away some of the RPO stuff, I think. I'm sure there's some good RPO coaches in here that would disagree with me. Um, here, good look here at this. Right? Option, trap, power. So I guess my point is this. We can cover a lot of schemes and a lot of plays in one scheme. So if we just get all down, down, down. Okay? We talked about how to defeat this block already. Edge going to squeeze, come flat down the line of scrimmage. Okay? As soon as that inside back receives that down block, he's going like crazy with his eyes to the back. Our bounce player is there. 
Again, if he's walked out, he's got to make a call. I know I'm going fast. I do want to get to the other part of this. Uh, we do treat pulls like down a lot. We can pull, pull. Okay, here comes counter, maybe, right? Um, we're going to try to get in hip pocket. Feel fit up and replace. In our defense in the stack, the mic, he backs up. He's the, I don't know everyone right here runs the stack. Right? But I think the better, the better our linebackers are, the more I want to back them up. Okay, that's my thing. The, 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 so we'll take kids that aren't as good, put them closer because I can see coach and I can react faster. The better you are, the further you go back. Our outside linebackers, it's opposite. The better you are, the closer I trust you to get in because you can't get up the edge. The worse you are, you got to, you know, do that. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to align this stuff based on talent. Three, four, not a whole lot of changes. Uh, I guess it's really crappy, John, I'm sorry. But again, here, you know, down, belly, maybe a G scheme. Um, get a double team maybe on the end. He's got to get down now. The Sam is hard for me to draw here, I'm sorry, but the Sam's going to run arm, you know. So here, come here, Gavin. What's your name? Gavin. All right, Gavin, come here, give Erica a break. Right? So stay right there. If he's a tight end, and I'm the Sam backer, just go ahead, down block here. I'm coming here, but I gotta turn the corner. Right? Just like a D lineman would do. Because if he's double teaming the end, stay right there. And I fly up field, I know what's coming. Alright? So, hey, we're gonna spill everything. So hopefully, our outside backer who is gonna make the deck. Thank you. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. If you work hard as I'm not going to buy you one. I can go in the water. Um, stretch, inside zone. So again, I guess this is the one we're talking about too. We want the inside backer to make the end right. Right? So he's going to read that. If that window opens, let him go. I try not to yell at kids that they pick the wrong window. I think it slows them down. Um, that's in our 3-4. We'll take the mic out. Okay? That would be, you know, that's kind of how we might line up to that. Must decide who's the edge, right? So that's got to be your decision. Normally, if we call our dogs, but normally it's our outside linebacker, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes I'm okay making the safety or outside edge. There's a couple of occasions if I've got a good inside backer, I can walk them out and he can do both. I just don't love teaching kids something new as we get good at something. I just feel like the cup gets full a little bit. I know I'm going fast when I get from the film. And uh, okay, these, uh, you know, here, the last one I'll show you is this. This kind of gets into the automatic checks. We do a lot, I was talking to Coach before about this. We're not in our stack that much. Well, I shouldn't say it that way. We move around a lot. So, you know, we got to practice multiple fronts. So in our run fit, you know, if, if we know going into the week that if we see a, if we see a three man surface, we're going to auto check to an over front. Right? And we better run our run fits out of the over front. But here's the thing, nothing can change. The only difference is he's going to play in like he played tackle, right? I'm not going to try to double teach him. He is going to still read the offensive tackle. The Sam linebacker walks up. So he can be nose up, he can't be inside, he's going to watch you. If he gets the down block, he's coming right down the line, just like he normally would do if he was backed up. All right? We do that actually more, we see a ton, I guess, in, in, in that Badger North Conference. Not as much spread, but a lot of that H-back, power-back stuff. And that's been really good for us to, to check to that, just because that CDF can be a problem. All right.